Hey guys, welcome back to the Macaverse. Today I'm going to show you two cool new tricks that I have found on Snow Leopard. Some of you may know these, some of you may not, so I'm sharing these with you today. I've recently upgraded to Snow Leopard. I like it, it's great, you know. You can go check out those features whenever you want from Apple.com. Alright, the first one I wanted to show you is, say I have like a bunch of windows open. Say I have Firefox, uh, iCal, and iTunes open. Alright. So we'll let these windows open. And one thing I wanted to show you is, say I have these windows open, I have two minimized things right here. It will show you these two minimized things at the bottom of your screen when you open up, I think it's called Expose. This little line will appear that divides your windows here and the uh, two minimized ones at the bottom. And so we have all these windows open. Say I have one window open at yahoo.com. And two of them are at the devs, iPhone Dev Center. And so I have all these windows open, and there's too many. I don't feel like searching through them. All right, and so I'm sitting here in iTunes, and I don't know which uh, Firefox window open. What you can do is go into go to the Firefox icon at the bottom of your dock. This actually works with any of the uh, apps, but I'm using Firefox as my example. You click and hold at the Firefox and the uh, Firefox icon should highlight itself and just the Firefox windows are showing now. You can also quit, hide and it'll give you options to keep in dock, open at login and show in finder. And then you just click again to come back. Or if I wanted to just go to iTunes, it would just show me the iTunes one instead of all the other ones are searching through all of these. And same thing for finder, I can do this and it'll give me the two ones that are actually minimized at the bottom. So there you have it, just click and hold, or if you have the delay set to pretty high where when you click and hold it does not take as long as that, you can click then hit spacebar and it will do it instantly. And so the next trick I wanted to show you was this one. If you take like a movie, you have a bunch of movies like I do right here, you can take this little uh, drag thing, I don't know what it's called and you drag it to where the icons are pretty big and you can just drag your icon leave it there for a little while until this play button appears and just click play and you can preview a video any movie as you can hear it's playing so without copyright issues I'm not gonna play any of that stuff so there's that you can also do this with PDF documents Say I have this calendar here and I want to use that, I just increase the size and put my mouse over it. You can't do it with iWork documents, I don't know why, it just doesn't let you, but yeah, it doesn't let you, so you just put your mouse over it and let it there until the arrows come up and you can just pan through. Alright, so those are the two things I wanted to show you in Snow Leopard. I hope you like it, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you.